I don't know, it was tough. Let me tell you, it was difficult. My husband wanted to be a goat and that's just something that, you know, I had to get, I had to get used to. I'm James Gelson. I'm 36 years old and I want to live as a goat. Um, what a strange thought. I mean, like, who wants to live life as a goat? Living as a goat is maybe one of the best things I've ever done in my entire life. You know, it's, it's been a dream of mine since I was a young boy and to finally experience life as a goat, um, it means everything to me and it makes me feel complete. So you know, at first, when James proposed the idea to me, I thought, James, no, why? Oh my God, no, honey, mm-mm. Um, but as time went on, I did soon come to realize that this is in fact a passion of his. You know, some people dedicate themselves to a sport um, or athletic leisure, but James just, you know, wants to live life as a goat. Whatever that entails, I stand by him. He's my husband and I love him. He loves goats and I love ham. Thanks. <laughs> Wendy, <laughs> you know, uh, Wendy, what it comes down to, I think, is that she realizes even if she wasn't in my life, I would still be doing this and so she wanted to be a part of it. It was tough for me to become adjusted to him living life as a goat. Um, but you know, I think that goes without saying. At first I thought, well, James, ain't I enough? What, what, how am I supposed to compete against goats? As time went on, I realized this makes him happy, as I previously said, blah, blah, blah. It's not so much about me as it is about James pursuing his childhood dreams, and I don't, I'm not one to get in the way of that. Stop it, I'm goading. You know, Wendy sometimes tries to interfere. Sometimes she, uh, you know, tries to force her human ways on me while I'm out there, but what can I say? <laughs> she, she just means she cares. Um, I definitely do try to facilitate his goat life for him. <coughs> Bringing him snacks, various snacks, various waters, goat waters, uh, any and all of that sort. That's what I do. As would any wife. That's what I do. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so what you're seeing here is essentially I saw what appeared to be an alpha male goat uh, trying to assert his dominance over my territory. And what you see here is me, the actual alpha male in this situation, um, asserting my dominance over this goat, trying to assert his dominance over me. So. Um, as you can see, it did not end well for the other goat, okay? Yeah, so... The, the power, wow. Where do I see myself in five years? Well, can't really foresee myself doing this for too much longer, you know? Where do I see myself in five years? My goodness, you know, I hope that I see, I'm on a mountaintop in Peru, just perusing with the goats, you know? Uh, so I guess we'll have to see where, where it all goes, but I'm hoping that maybe that's, that's where it is. And who knows, Wendy may even be on the, on the mountain with me and perhaps we'll be using her to harvest goat cheese. I do not want to be a goat, no. Being a goat is everything to me, and so I don't foresee this as just being a phase. You know, I was emo in middle school, and that was a phase, okay? That was a phase, but uh, this is not a phase.